Hello everyone, Joe from BlackberryOS.com here. So today I want to give you a kind of a step-by-step -step comparison of iMessage, the, uh, the new messaging application by Apple and BlackBerry Messenger. Um, I've seen a couple videos out there but uh, I wanted to give you something a little bit more brief, a little bit more step-by-step -step, so let's get to it. Um, over here in this corner we have the iPhone 4 running iOS 5 beta that just was recently released. iMessage is, uh, is installed. Um, over here we in this corner we have the BlackBerry Bold 9650 running BlackBerry OS 6 and over in this corner I'm gonna start this timer here on my playbook so that way I don't bore you to death. We got about 10 minutes on it to get through this so um, Let's go ahead and get to it. Um, over here, let's start with the, the bold. So what we want to do is I want to just go into BlackBerry Messenger here. And the way you can get into to, to Messenger with the bold or with the, uh, the BlackBerry is you can either go to the BlackBerry Messenger icon. Let's see. Let me set this down here so you can see. Focus in. It's hard to see it. but <clears throat> Or you can go up to the messaging app here let me get into that and and what you can do is go into the messaging app and you'll see like a, a message from a, a blackberry messenger contact see I got one up top there and you can click on that and it'll bring you into blackberry messenger as well now for uh, iMessage on iOS 5 the way you get into uh, to get into the application is you can't click on the the mail icon there on the bottom <clears throat> the, the only way to get into it is to click on the messages icon as you would to open up SMS or something like that and basically or actually on, uh, on iOS 5 they have a new notification system on your lock screen so if you get a SMS or any type of notification and it'll pop up on your lock I don't have it on there now but I don't have a notification right now, but you can actually slide to unlock on that notification and it'll open up right to the app. But anyway, let's go ahead and go into BlackBerry Messenger here on the on the BlackBerry. So I just want to kind of go over the options and you know some of the differences and, and whatnot. Try to keep my camera still here. So BlackBerry Messenger basically you have a variety of options. It's it's a, it's more defined than iMessage. Um, so I mean, you you go into options here. You have list view, sort chats. You can sort your chats. You have chat view. Uh, you can change. Uh, you can show participant names. Uh, combine uh, sequential messages. Chat style. They have like a bubble style, a line style, different styles. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, they have a press enter key too and you can control the command uh, when you press the enter key. Um, I mean this stuff is all just kind of basic run of the mill stuff. I just want to kind of cover some of the main features. Um, let's see, let's go down here. Backup management. Uh, BlackBerry Messenger has a great backup management so you can back up your contact list. Um, you can restore it from there um, and whatnot. Uh, it's great for when you're updating the OS or you're installing leaked OS's and whatnot. So, uh, what else do we have? We have recent updates. You can uh, show recent updates from BlackBerry contacts, which is really cool. It's kind of something that the uh, iMessage is kind of lacking in as far as you know the custom contact features. Miscellaneous uh, show chats and uh, messages application. Uh, show text messages from contacts linked with BlackBerry contacts. Uh, I mean, there's just BBM as as a variety of options here. Um, I'm not going to exhaust you with every single one of them. Um, you can also, you know, let's go ahead and look at BBM. Some of the how it looks here. This is the bubble style I have right now, which I enjoy. The bubble style. It's kind of has a nice clean look to it. It's easy to read. Um, and basically, you know, you can I can click when I'm inside a chat click on my BBM button and go to you know to send here let me find send and here it is and you can send pictures uh, voice notes files your location where you're currently at tell people you know 
where you're at, what you're up to, where, where they can come and find you. Um, you can send people a messenger contact that you'd recommend to them or a BlackBerry contact. Uh, all very useful things. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of it for the, the options on BBM. BBM, you also have, uh, uh, you know, your contacts are sorted here. It's, 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 it's like a big app. But BBM, the difference between BBM and iMessage really, to me, is that BBM has, it's more developed, obviously, more features. And, and it's more of like an app. So, like, you have contacts in BBM. You have, you know, everything's a little bit more separate. You can keep it more separate from your other phone features here. Uh, we have the BlackBerry OS team group that we created, um, which is another great feature of BBM. You, <clears throat> the group integration is, is awesome. Yeah, it's not so great on iMessage. Um, right now, iMessage, I don't believe they have groups, but you could send out, you know, add a bunch of contacts to a certain string, I suppose. Um, so I mean that's kind of it as far as that goes. Let me uh, let me show you iMessage here now on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and get to it. So basically, to to change the settings from in iMessage, you have to go to settings, and then you scroll to down here to messages, and then in there, as you can see iMessage and then it has a little switch there to turn it on and off um, and it can be sent as it says there you can send it between your iPhone your iPad your iPod touch um, which comes in handy you know if you have you know multiple Apple platforms it makes it really easy to to send from from any one of them uh, send read receipts uh, allows others to be notified when you have read their messages um, that's something that's always handy. BlackBerry Messenger has that. Sent as SMS. Um, this is kind of neat because when you go into the messaging app, you can it, it'll automatically uh, tell for you whether that person has iMessage or not, and you can send it. It says here, send as SMS when iMessage is unavailable. Carrier messaging rates may apply. So if you have iMessage it's not going to count as an SMS against you. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, let's see. And, you know, basically these are just other your basic uh, SMS, MMS uh, options here. M MMS messaging, group messaging. See, you, you do have a group messaging, but it's not quite as, you know, refined as having a group as B BlackBerry Messenger would have where you, you have more of a integrated you know, group with with members and and everything iMessage doesn't really have that um, which is kind of disappointing if you're uh, you know looking towards the iPhone and you're an iPhone user because it, it really does come in handy especially for businesses and groups and and everything it's a real easy way to stay in contact so let's go ahead and go into iMessage now these are the options here let me get out of here okay so you just click on the messaging messages icon and I already have a, a conversation here should be opened up yep here it is so here this is the layout of it I mean it's just your SMS your basic you know iPhone messages layout you I've already sent a, you know I sent an image there a little PV amplifier I sent a voice note but actually BlackBerry Messenger you can send voice notes within the messaging the messenger app but with the iMessages, you ha actually have to go into the uh, voice recorder app and then send from there and it'll show up into your uh, messages, at, uh, into your, your message stream here. What I like about this is uh, right there you have, you know, once you're, you're in a, you're in a, a chat and you're going through iMessage, iMessages uh, back and forth, you can, you know, instantly FaceTime someone with that front front facing camera that the iPhone has so something that I think Blackberry should get I mean you know that way it would be pretty cool if you're in Blackberry Messenger and then you could hit uh, you know a BBM video chat button you know as and then just right away you know be video chat with someone you know on a front facing camera would be awesome so hopefully RIM uh, starts getting into something like that soon um, 
you know, maybe it'll happen in Q and X. I don't know, but you know, whatever devices are coming out. Um, as far as we know, the the next device is coming out, the Bull 9900, 9930. They will not have a front-facing camera. I was kind of disappointed to hear that. Um, so what else we got here? So how you know it's if it's an iMessage? What will happen is it'll say right down here either SMS text or it won't say SMS text. It'll say either text message or iMessage. It'll automatically tell you what you're sending so so it's kind of neat so that way you know like oh, okay this person if they if they have an iPhone and it has iOS 5 on it the you know the the iMessage uh, platform it'll automatically bring that up uh, for you so which is pretty neat so that way you don't have to do any extra work and figure that out um what else do we have here uh you can you know call them right from it you know you got your uh, you can go in to contact here and you know start you know, f figure out some details, whoever the contact they are. Um, let's see, what else? You know, that's about it. Both uh, platforms are about the same um, speed. So, I mean, I, I, I was sending messages back and forth and kind of, you know, seeing how long they were going. And they're, they're both about exactly the same um, as far as speed goes, which is great um, for both platforms. I would say at this point... Uh, this point in time that BlackBerry Messenger, you know, it's more of an application. You can go inside of it. You can dinker around. You can, you know, there's a lot to do in in, uh, in BlackBerry Messenger. Um, a lot more to do. Um, iMessages is, is very, I like how, but I do like how it's integrated into the iPhone more. So if you like that integration um, and you're not really into having like you know groups and stuff. Maybe that iMessages is is better, but but I mean at this point they they both serve a good purpose. Um, and you know that's that's your basic side by side comparison. Um, you know if there's anything I any questions you have or whatever you can uh, leave them in the in the thread below as I where I post this video here on the website blackberrylist.com. And uh, yeah, and then I, you know if I missed anything or whatever. I'll answer any questions or whatever, help you guys out. So anyway, thank you for watching today and good night.